Hi everyone, this is Salesforce Lori, your gray haired Salesforce Lori, still rocking it in the Salesforce ecosystem. And I am going to demonstrate to you today how to update your resumes in your experience portfolio. So, currently, um, my portfolio links you know to, to the uh, resume using this PDF and other images um, are not yet updated so this is how to update it so first you go to the files and if you don't know how to look for that you go to the app launcher and click files and then check that and it should open this tab where your files all your files are so this is my resume and it's a PDF version so I have a new version here which is titled now as my um, my new role being a health cloud admin which will start I haven't announced this on LinkedIn but it will start on the 22nd and I already got my equipment uh, which included not just a laptop but two monitors as well and a keyboard and a mouse which I did not like the keyboard and the mouse anyway um, I digress so you go here to this carrot here and upload a new version so I'm going to upload that and say that um, added Molina experience which I just um, if we will open it I added I added this part already but you know what uh, let me open this okay um, I also edited it so that it would reflect my new domain name um, Jen has a wonderful demo video about changing your domain name for your portfolio um, just so you know I did not bother to record my my own because she has a very good tutorial on that um, anyway it it's something that I've been doing in the health cloud workbook that I'm I've been working on since last week so now that I have that new version up here notice that the name hasn't changed so I'm just going back to this carrot to edit the file details so that it would reflect um, health cloud admin I'm just gonna do that or is it is it um, not too obvious okay health cloud admin and then save so now um, if I need to create a new public link which it will now reflect this so that's what I'm gonna use for updating the experience cloud so there are several places where I need to change that. Did I actually change it? Let me see. Uh, okay, that's the end. Okay. And change this one as well change this one and there are other places so that's under experience but I also have my resume in and, and just so you know so I have this rich content editor where I also updated my resume there it's just a copy um, I copied the text from my put from my resume and then pasted them there and then kind of just um, 
I changed the formatting. So anyway, going back to now credentials because I have links there as well. So just kind of want to see where the other links are and you'll have to upload them. Okay, so no matter where the, the recruiter or the hiring manager lands, you're going to be there. So you'll have to publish this. Okay. So now that I have that published, let me just uh I don't know if I can find it. Where did where is it? <laughs> I think this is it. Oh, I still have the wrong wait a minute. I think I just okay. If you notice it changed automatically from my old URL to the new one. Um yeah, so if I go to the credentials and open this now for this one this is just a preview nothing in the links can be clicked unless you download so once you have downloaded that and then you open the file and then you, from here you can you can then click on the links Trailhead. Is it working? My internet is slow. Okay, so this is me testing my links. So they're working. Um, so yeah, so that's how you upload a new version. Now in case um, now the thing is that was a long a long way to do that but actually let's say let's just say I created a new version let's say I have edited my my description work description at Molina what I will actually have to do is just to upload a new version and um, That, that was the one that I downloaded so if I let's say um, if I created a new version and it's still the same title anyway um, the public link here actually will be just the same if you notice it was that and I guess I can't just go to the end it's the same ending so there's nothing that changed actually so that as soon as <clears throat> you have uploaded a new version you don't actually need to change this so this is the short version um, I only essentially just uh, demonstrated also how to change the link here if you will have because um earlier it was a different domain it was my old domain that had like a or a tibets consulting or something like that so now with this one because i changed my domain um, the public link also had changed because of the change in the domain that's why i had to um edit all the links here in my portfolio and now everything is the same since I'm not going to change my domain name anymore um, this will still have a public link with the right domain the new domain that I have still that domain so I don't have to actually change anything here anymore 
moving forward i would just need to update the file and automatically the experience cloud portfolio links will also change accordingly all right and i don't know if it's helpful to you <laughs> but i hope i hope this added something to your learning about experience cloud and files thank you